Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this springy Coachella festival makeup look which was inspired by Stacey Marie anyway and Daisy Marquez. I'll leave Daisy's Instagram and YouTube as well as Stacey's Instagram down in my description below. I think this look is beautiful and perfect for spring because it's colorful but it's still wearable without being too crazy. I'm not going to Coachella because I don't have any friends that want to go with me but I am going to be going to Movement in May in Detroit and I believe it's Memorial Day weekend so let me know if you're going to be there. I'm most likely going to be wearing this look because I is perfect for it. So without any further rambling, I'm just going to go ahead and get right on with the video. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then please just keep on watching. So the first pack I'm going to be starting out with today is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I'm going to be using this to prime my face. Obviously the foundation I'm going to be using is my Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation just because it is dewy and it's going to give me that nice glowy look. I just went and picked up the shade today because I did self tan before I'm leaving because I'm pre-filming a bunch of videos right now. But I don't think I'm going to be able to use the stick when I get back because the next shade up is so much darker than me. And I just don't think I'm going to get that dark on vacation. Like, it goes from, like, a medi light medium shade to, like, tan. And I, my skin's not going to change that much in a week. I don't know. It's just... I'm just irritating because that's my favorite foundation and I'm not going to be able to use it. If you know any other super dewy foundations for dry skin, let me know. The same time the Tarte one, the Rainforest of the Sea. Obviously, I'm using my Tarte Shade Tape in Fair Neutral, but I just hope that like on camera you can't see what is going on on my forehead. I've got some weird texture and I didn't change any of my skincare or anything. I was tweeting about it yesterday or I don't know if this is going up because I'm pre-filming, but I we did about the day before I filmed this and I didn't change any skincare products. I've used the same face wash, the same moisturizer and everything and there's something weird going on on my forehead and they're not like dry spots. It's literally just weird bumpy texture. setting my face and I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and Translucent Light under my eyes. And then for my face, I'm going to be going with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in Medium 2. And I used this in my last tutorial. I haven't touched this powder since maybe the summer or last spring. And I've fallen in love with it again. It makes my skin just look so nice and there's it doesn't show my pores at all even if I don't use a pore filling primer. I'm just going to be baking where I conceal with the Color FX powder and then just kind of dusting the other powder on my face. Every single time I film, I forget something and I forgot my setting powder brush today, but I just, I always forget something. And I don't film my room anymore, so I have to run all the way back and grab it. And it's really not a big deal, it's just irritating because I'm already like in my zone doing my makeup and then I have to be interrupted. Now I'm just setting my brows with the ABH Clear Gel to keep them in place and I just like doing this after I powder my face so that none of it gets into my eyebrows. I don't know if it's really a big deal, it's just something I prefer to do. Now moving on to bronzer, I'm going to be using the NARS Laguna bronzer just to warm up my face. I'm going to be moving on to contour. I'm going to be contouring with MAC Shadester and Makeup Geek Bad Habit. But I just like to change up the powders I'm using because when I get a little bit of color, I don't really like contouring with a cool shade. I'm going to let my cheek contour bake while I contour my nose. And I'm just going to be using the same powders. When you're contouring your nose, you want to make sure you're getting into that curve up to your eyebrow just because it's a natural curve of your nose and it'll help make your contour look a little bit more natural. And what I also do is kind of brush it down just to blend it in a little bit. I'm going to be going in with the MAC and Mariah Carey blush in Sweet Sweet Fantasy. And this isn't available anymore, but it's really just like a kind of corally pinky blush. I hate using limited edition products in my videos just because you can't get your hands on them anymore, but I just love this blush. I just want to get rid of any excess powder or anything like that because I do have super dry skin and I don't want to look cakey. So I'm going to be spraying my face with Max Fix Plus. 
While my face is wet, I'm going to be highlighting with Becca's Champagne Pop. And I've almost hit pan, which is really sad. But I just think it'll go really nice with this look because I can finally wear Goldman highlights. Perseus. I forgot how much I love this highlighter. It's just so beautiful. It makes you look so dewy and glowy. I mean, all highlighters make you look glowy, but this one just has kind of like a special extra glow to it, and I love it. We're moving on to my eyes, and I'm first going to be taking the shade Peach Movie and using that as my transition shade. I hope you guys don't mind if I film maybe three videos wearing this look because I want to pre film. A bunch of videos before I leave because I am leaving for two weeks. I do want to try and upload an extra video here and there if possible because I normally upload twice a week. So if I was gone, I could upload a third video that'd be great. So I'm trying to pre film at least two videos every time I do a tutorial. And also, please let me know down below if you'd like to see me only do one eye on camera and then just do the other off. Like as I'm blending the second eye right now, I could just do that off camera and not show the clip. Next, I'm going to be going in with Chickadee, which is this orange and yellow, and basically just putting that right on top of Peach Smoothie. Chickadee just wasn't yellow enough for me, so I'm going to be adding a little bit of this yellow from the Morphe 35B palette. Now for the other eye, I just mix the two shades together. Next I'm going to be going in with this orange shade Morocco from Makeup Peak, and I don't know if I mentioned, but Chickadee is also from Makeup Peak. I'm not taking this as high up as I did the yellow and Chickadee, just because I do want a really nice gradient effect. taking Mars from the Mania MUA and Makeup Geek palette and mixing that with Makeup Geek Bitten. We're using a more defined brush for this just so it doesn't go up too high into my crease and cover the orange white. Right? And then we're going in with a little bit of Morocco and then Chickadee on top of that just to blend everything together. This eye is so hard to get a gradient on because I have hooded eyes. Not really bad, but I do have slightly hooded eyes. And this one's a lazy eye, so it's just so hard to make sure you're getting a perfect gradient and not going too high up. Now I'm just going back in with Morocco to keep the gradient that I have going. I'm going to be going in with the shade Aphrodite, also from the Mania Miwe palette, and just applying that to my outer corners. Here's where I'm going to pack this shade on because I am going to be creating a half cut crease and you want a little bit of definition on the outside of your eye. I'm not really going to blend much of it into the crease, only a little because I do have hooded eyes, but I'm just going to keep packing it until the color is somewhat intense because I am going to be adding another shade on top of it. And just to blend up this edge right here, I'm going back in with Mars and Bitten. I'm going to be going back in with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to be creating my half cut crease with it. Liner today, I'm going to be using the ABH Requiem Liquid Lipstick, and I'm not going to be creating a winged liner, I'm just going to be lining my actual eye. This is such a beautiful shade. I wish I could pull this off as a lipstick, but I can't, so it's going to make a gorgeous liner. Oh wow, this is so pretty. It's like a really nice deep ocean blue when it's blended out, and I love it. Here 
Okay, moving on to my lower lash line. The first shade I'm going to be taking is a Chickadee by Mega Peak. I'm just going to use this to kind of give like a little transition between this and a blue I'm going to use. I'm just going to take this yellow and connect it to the shadow in my crease. Now I'm going to be taking Morocco by Makeup Geek and placing it under my waterline but still leaving room for another shade. The last shadow I'm going to be going in with is Shark Bait also from Makeup Geek. I'm just going to be putting this right under my waterline. In our corners and brow bone, I'm just going to be going back in with Becca Champagne Pop. Now I'm going to be adding a little bit of Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek to my inner corners just to lighten it up a little bit. be applying Ritzy Cosmetics Posh Lashes and I'll leave my discount code right here and in my description box. I'm going to finish off this look with my lips. I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in shade 103. And that's it for this video. I love how this look turned out. I'm definitely going to be wearing it throughout the spring into any little festivals or events that I go to. I think I mentioned it in the middle of the video, but I am currently pre-filming because I am going to be leaving for basically three weeks because when I get back from Mexico, I'm only have about a week in between before I leave for Miami. So let me know any video ideas down below. I have basically all of them together, but I still want to know what you guys see because I might change it up and wait to film some of those until I get back. And I do have problem looks coming. I have so far three, which are gonna include gold, silver, rose gold, wing liner, cut creases, everything. But if you have a specific color combination you wanna see, leave it down below and I'll see if I can incorporate that to make it a look still for everybody, but give you an idea of what to wear with your dress or anything like that. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you turn on my notifications so when I upload my next video, you won't miss out. Bye.